OK, joined by Kieran Dowling, the Chemical Croaks manager here at Parnell Park. After a side's go-ahead, Dublin Senior won hurling championship final uh, victory here uh, this afternoon against Nafina. 20 points to 17, the final score sees you uh, crowned go-ahead senior, won champions for the second year in a row. So congratulations, Kieran. You must be, uh, I guess, a relieved man at the end of that. Yeah, it, it's one of the challenges that for myself and Donald wanted for the team this year was to try and get back into another final when we came out in 12 and 14 the following year we only got to a quarter final so success for us this year was get ourselves back up there and be in the mix again very happy to come out against it awfully sorry for Nathena fantastic team well managed well coached well drilled and we knew what we were coming up against that it would be extremely difficult and so approved and we just about crept across the line yeah, it's one thing to win a title uh, and you found yourself, I mean, it's, it's difficult enough to do that, to win one title. To do it back-to-back, -back, everyone talks about how difficult it is. In terms of even motivation, how did you manage to find that this year? Was it an issue all year in terms of finding that motivation to go again and to win another title? No, I, I think for last year, the fact we were so young and then we had so many fellas stepped aside uh, for various reasons, there was a lot of young players came in who had done a lot of work last year, people like Brian Hayes who weren't on the panel last year and Michael Roach who came through and were challenging. So that kept the whole thing very fresh. It kept the determination going to get back further and further. So the lads are walking out of here with county medals and they're absolutely thrilled. From the game point of view, uh, obviously it was a, re a really a fantastic game and, and very much a nip and tuck all the way through. Uh, so you were 16 points to 12 down midway through the second half, heading into the last quarter. Didn't seem to panic at all whatsoever in that last in, the, in that few minutes to kind of cr uh, claw that lead back and obviously to move ahead then. You must have been quite happy with how the lads reacted to that. I think the key was the fact that we went, after they got the 16 point, we went straight back up, got a score, brought it back to three from four, because four sort of the insurance point territory, you're always worried. But one of the things that we've done, you know, Donald, Chairman and Mark have been coached, is resilience and keep going to the bitter end. And if you look back at our matches this year, we just don't stop. We will keep working hard. And it doesn't matter how, how bad it looks for us. If you keep working, you will keep forcing breaks. And that's what we did tonight. Wish you York top scored. I think he scored nine points, but he had a, 10 scores, a fantastic spread of scores across the whole team. 10 scores today, which obviously made a, plays a huge part in terms of very difficult to defend against if you have guys who, 10, 10 guys who can score uh, for the team, obviously. It does. Like People will always focus on Alex and Ronan as an example, but Michael Roach has been a revelation this year with his work rate and his striking. And he's got the benefits this year. You know, of the fact that he's learned to work, you know, manage his work rate and scoring at the same time, which isn't easy to do. And then, you know, we brought in Brendan Scanlon and Fionn and Ronan Coslo, all who are proven scorers as well. So to get that range of scorers is fantastic. I hadn't realised that you said it. Yeah. Um, a young team, as you mentioned already, uh, which means, I mean, not to look ahead too far ahead already, but uh, this team could be around for a few years to come, or certainly most of this team could be around for a few years to come. Hopefully, but as I've learned the hard way in three years doing this job with Donald and Jeremy and Mark, lads move on, you know, life gets in the way, jobs get in the way, and, you know, we'll probably have turnover again next year, but that's fine. That's part of the job, and lads have lives to lead. This is only an amateur sport, and, you know, if they do, fantastic. But we'll be back here next year ready to defend our title. And finally, uh, you'll be celebrating tonight, I'm sure, but uh, you have a Leinster campaign to come, and I'm sure you look back and le learn lessons from what happened last year in Leinster and try and uh, go a, f a step further this year in that regard. I believe we're up against Clock Balakala again, and like Declan Laffin is super manager, super tactician, with a very good team. We've done a three in a row. My understanding from watching local papers is they won the intermediate, they lost the junior right point, and won the, won the minor title as well. So, fantastic club, beautiful hurling last year. We were deserved winners on the night. We're going to go and celebrate tonight and then we start preparing for that and see where we get in three weeks' time.